Next up, we got Micah Parsons sends a message to the 49ers after the Cowboys beat the Bucks 31 14. Now, <laughs> hey, we got the dub over the Bucks. Everybody was talking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, next up, we got the 49ers. Now, the thing about it is, I'm a fan of 49ers as well. So it's like in this game, I really don't have like no, you know what I mean. I, I it's like if I if I see the Cowboys lose, it's like okay, you know what I mean. At least the Four Niners beat them. It's not like some team I hate. Um, but hey, we gonna see. Um, y'all let me know who y'all think is gonna win that matchup, uh, Cowboys and Four Niners. Um, but hey, let's see what it be time. Bye. Divisional. Buckle up. Buckle up is right, Steve. It's all good. Ones on ones, Saturday and Sunday, you see the games. Wow, we're pivoting from uh, Joe and Troy to Micah Parsons. Micah, Scott Van Pelt here on Sports Center. Thanks so much for throwing on a headset after a dominating win. Uh, the star, man, there's, it's a spotlight unlike anything else. You, you know what comes with it so well to go out and dominate. Cowboys had 400 yards, 26 first downs, 7 for 13 on third down conversions, no turnovers. That's what we need. No turnovers. No turnovers at all. On this stage, on the road, and win. How satisfying is that for your guys in the locker room? Uh, it's extremely satisfying seeing all the, uh, especially with the long week, uh, seeing all your preparation, everything you study for, um, any tricks, anything they could come out and try to hit us, what we were prepared for. Um, you know, credit to the guys. They put in all the extra work, and we had our mindset on dominating this game and got the win, so. It's great to end streaks and start new uh, traditions around here. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what Troy was just talking about, saying it's your time. And I asked him a bunch about Dak. I'll ask you. Uh, quarterback in Dallas, there are a few things. That's what you can't do, bro. We, you got to harass that quarterback, bro. We have to harass that quarterback. Now, <sighs> Brock Purdy, he's a different breed. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. You know what I mean? He is a rookie. It's like he's you. He's a rookie, but you can't look at him, look at him as a rookie. He's not a rookie. He's more of a, you know, what I mean, he's more of a veteran. To be honest, he's more of a veteran, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, like, you gotta harass him. You know what I'm saying? And we gotta have a lockdown in the secondary, bro. Because once we harass him, once the D line harass him, um, he gonna try to roll out. Now when he roll out. We have to have everything locked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't get no free 60-yard uh, ball for somebody trying to quite try like to that. For Dak to go out after last week's struggles in Washington and perform at that, at that type of level, not that you all doubt. I not I know you don't. But what does that show you and everybody else about your quarterback? Um, it just shows he's resilient. You know, um, you know, it, it, people try to portray a certain image of, uh, you know, the light's different on deck. You know, when you got the star in your right. helmet, whether you're a defender, whether you're an offensive player, uh, people look look upon you different. It's America's team. Um, I think the criticism he gets is unfair and unjust sometimes. But the way he handles it, the way he comes back every time and shows who he truly is, you know, it's credit to him and the work he puts in. And it just makes us keep believing every time. Troy also said something, and I agree, let you guys enjoy this, but I don't have the benefit of time. I, so in the, in the short time I have with you, Mike, I'm interested in next week. After you enjoy tonight and travel home, you go on the road and take on a good San Francisco team. What's the most important thing for your team to do to have the best opportunity to take the next step and move to the championship round? Uh, the most important thing will be stay in the moment uh, and think of next. Uh, stay in the moment and, you know, everyone just going to the next. You know, this one is good. It's satisfying. It lets us know we're in the right direction. But let's not get complacent. Let's just go on to the next page, next chapter. Because uh, this San Francisco team is no joke. The talent they got them. Um, so we got to go on with our heads down um, act like we know how to play ball because uh, this ain't going to be no layover game. And, I, and that's what I was saying in, anyways about the uh, the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers have not been a, that good of a team. So us getting hype or whatever, like, that's not even nothing. Like, bro, that was like. You know what I'm saying? It's way harder teams. Now, this San Francisco 49ers team, this is going to show you. If we beat the 49ers, bro, oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. You know what I'm saying? If we beat the 49ers, that's going to be big. You know what I'm saying? 
Because they have a very not They have, like, everything, bro. So, this is going to be the real test. Right. Just mm. last thought before I say goodnight. It's, it's a Monday night game like the last game. You know, you know America's watching. Uh, what, what, what do the, you mentioned the lights. What do the lights on a night like this feel like? Is the Dallas Cowboys just Tom Brady? I mean, you played in a bunch of games already. But what would the stakes in the stage in this game feel like to you? Uh, the stakes was at an all-time high. It was like we got to put our money to where our mouth is. We talk about how we want to be a championship team. We talk about how we prepare for the lights, how this is what uh, legends are made, and we came out here and proved that, you know. So uh, the stage is going to be high every week from now on until the Super Bowl. So right. we just got to keep the same mentality and keep everything going at once. Yep. Hold up. I, I, did you just have a daughter two days ago? Yeah. Man, who cares about this football stuff, man? I had a, let me, being a girl dad is nothing like it, man. You have no idea. Like, wait until, just wait. Like, you think you're in love right now, man. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, I'm already, no, I, man, uh, every time she cries, I play my favorite artist, Rod Wave, and I just start singing to her. She got me wrapped what? around already. I, I was just talking, I can't wait to get back to just to lay with her. You know what I'm saying? So You got uh, no excited, shot. Man, you got blessed. no shot. Wait till she says, I love you, Daddy. Forget all this she, football stuff, man. There's nothing better than that. Congratulations, man. What a <laughs> blessing. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank Good you. luck next weekend, all right? Uh, of course. Of course. Right. Thank you, guys. No doubt. Michael Parsons had a daughter. Who cares about a football game? Uh, all right. We got a lot more to get uh, to this. All right. What is the rest of this? Dallas moves. Where would you start? Well, I, I think because we came in talking about pressure on Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy, and then Troy said, "I," but the guy who can do something about that pressure is Dak Prescott. And the way they started the first two possessions were not good. No, nope. they looked shaky, and then, wham! They just they went up and down the field, and he had the night of his life. Compared to a year ago tonight uh, with that home loss in the wild card round to San Francisco, which is where they go. Ironically enough, next, I, I think you start with Dak Prescott. Dalton Schultz had a great night. The offensive line, the defense was sensational. The only problem was the kicker missing four extra points. That's about <laughs> yeah. it. I'm going to I, I want to think about that. All right. Now, like I said, bro, I don't know real, what, what the rest of I think they're going to be talking about it. But like I said, bro, um, we got to come clean, bro, against the 49ers. That's going to be that's gonna be the main test, bro. We got to come clean, bro. You know what I'm saying? 49ers is a, definitely a complete team. They have all the weapons. Um, and their defense is not bad, bro. Their defense is not bad, bro. So us as an offense, we got to limit We got limited turnovers. Because like I said, Dak, Dak was selling a couple of them throws with sales, bro. He did not. All them throws wasn't good throws, bro. You know what I'm saying? We seen the deck that everybody hate. We seen them. You feel me? Now, hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel. 49ers fans. <laughs> and let me know how y'all feel. Who y'all think go with?